Hey, welcome back to our channel. Today we're looking at a gorgeous 1969 Dodge Super B. One repaint, exceptionally nice, exceptionally clean. Original carpet, original interior, original trunk mat. Ram charger hood, side mirror, quarter scoops. The interior is spectacular. So the area that I really want to point out is the trunk. This is a first for us. Original floor mat. If you look at the left quarter panel, the sound deadener is in there as it should be. Good condition. Nothing, no anomalies here. We get to the right side. As you can see, there's no sound deadener. You can see the body dip line. It's faint, but you can certainly see it there. This is a very original car. It's never been apart. Wire tags are in place. The ceiling tabs are in position. On the weather strip, I'll show you that in a minute. All the dial out stamp numbers have been documented. Right there, as you can see, is one of the ceiling tabs. Those are put on at the assembly plant. So what the process calls for is to put adhesive down for the rubber seal and then put those into position because it takes a few minutes for the adhesive for the seal to, let's say, flash and adhere to it. And that keeps it in position. As you can see on the bottom, all the original primer move around here for a minute right there's dial out stamp number that matches up to the car now let's go back down this quarter panel so what you see here is the actual remnants of the undercoating so clearly they were having a problem with the gun. No undercoating has ever been applied to this. It's all original paint in here, extremely clearing. Matter of fact, if you look in the back of the hinges, <clears throat> where the support is for the hinges in the Dutchman panel, you can see we've mapped out the dial out stamp number there. Dial out stamp number in the front right there, recorded that based on the production of this vehicle. Underneath, this is something, a good point. If you're ever looking at cars, this is the area that you want to, that you want to look for that is notoriously rusted out on B-bodies. This one is in extremely good condition. You actually can go as far as on the tip of the fasteners, right there. You can actually see the sealer. And when you use the proper fasteners, it should have seal around it to seal up that opening. So now let's continue down this quarter panel. This is what I want to show you. Hopefully we can get a little light in there and take a look at it. So as you look down into the quarter panel,
you can certainly see where there is where the sound deadener has stopped and it's clear evidence that there's been trouble with the gun when they were applying this now what you see in there the fasteners this is a side scoop garb so they started the spray the front and stopped you can see the trail and the trail leading back they were obviously trying to get it to uh, trying to get it to function it was spitting you can see it at the bottom now let's start to back away more remnants of again where they were trying to get the gun to operate it wasn't operating There is the dip line. So this is a first for us. You can see the dip line going down there. First time we've seen a quarter panel without any sound deadener on it. From the factory. So there's another ceiling tab. Let's see if I can focus on this properly. Properly in position. So let's reposition around to the other side. Trunks, all original paint. There's the die lap stamp numbers. Now something's been modified here, but don't pay attention to that. We're going to get that removed. There's proper undercoating on this side, all the way back. No issues. Dial out stamp number. You can see some of it where the metal is. There's the dip line. It's pretty hard to see at this angle, but you can certainly see the dip line. Going to the back, you see the dip line here. Looking deeper, there's the dial out stamp number. Of course, that's been recorded. You can see all the seam sealer that was applied from the factory. There's another locking tab. I call them locking tabs, they're basically adhesives that flash very quickly. hold it in position. Let's go back around here for a second. Get the light. It's always fun being in trunks of these cars. Looking on the back side of the uh, Back side of the hinges, you can see the dip line, very prominent, right through there. There is a dial out stamp number. I'm not sure what this tape's holding down, but we're going to remove that. There's another dial out stamp number near the front. You can see the dip line again. This car has had some sort of undercoating, rust preventative, something applied to this trunk. But the underside, there's a trunk light. It's not factory, but if you look at, you can see the greenish shoe primer, all original. This is how you should find vehicles. See, there's a little bit of, little bit of spray to the back. 
<clears throat> where they shot it in to try to just cover somewhat of the vehicle. But again, this is very common. This is very typical of what the underside of a factory car should be. This was built at St. Louis Assembly. So that is the greenish primer that was used. And there's that quarter panel, no undercoating. As always, I hope you enjoyed this type of content. You know, continue to tune into our channel and we'll provide you this sort of level of detail. As we're looking at these vehicles, even on even on this, within the top of the wheelhouse, and my camera's not picking it up right now, but there is dial out stamp number at the top. There's dial out stamp numbers up in the bottom, in that corner. Again, with the Wise validation report, we get to the bottom of every square inch of this car, of cars and map out all the dial out stamp numbers that we find. There's a good shot of the Dutchman panel dial out stamp number and you see the fasteners with the sealer on them. That's proper. That's how you should see it. This car was enjoyable to validate. This is a borderline benchmark vehicle because it is so original, original carpet, original interior, original belts. Thank you very much for tuning in and subscribe to our channel you'll be the first one to receive an alert when we drop other videos similar to this when we find something that's extremely cool and helpful thank you very much